The only thing I love more than reading is actually remembering what I've read. Imagine that. And unlike some people out there who perhaps have some really cool superhuman memory and enter into memory competitions, I am not one of those people. My memory is not great. It's not even really good. It honestly kind of sucks. So how exactly do I remember a lot of the information that I collect when I go reading books? Here enters my commonplace notebooks. Hey Dev Nation's book devs, I hope you're having a great day. Today we are discussing commonplace notebooks and how to really utilize them to be more effective at reading. My primary notebook is meant to be a small notebook used as a reference to other information that I consume throughout the world. This can be social media content, this can be just walking down the block and I happen to perhaps get an idea or perhaps see an ad or see whatever, experience something, I go ahead and write it down in my commonplace notebook. My other commonplace notebook, my commonplace reading notebook, this is what we'll be discussing today. I use my commonplace reading notebook for when I'm reading. This book is meant to be a sort of log of all the information that I consume specifically when reading books. Now, before we dive into my commonplace reading notebook, I wanna make sure and preface there are no rules to this. There is no precise way to go ahead and have a commonplace notebook. I just wanna go ahead and share with you sort of my strategies and what I found works and doesn't work for me when reading books and trying to keep track of all the information. Let me go ahead and show you a glimpse of my commonplace reading notebook. Normally I like to start with just the name of the book and the author, and then I'll also go ahead and write the chunk or section of pages or chapter that I'm gonna go ahead and read. Then from there, of course, I also write the date. So this also seconds as a sort of reading log where I can go ahead and look back. Oh yeah, I've read on this day. This is what I've read. This is the section that I've read in this specific book. As I'm going about reading the book, I'll go ahead and start collecting information that I find most important or most impactful to me while I'm reading in that moment. For example, if I'm reading and I find a really impactful or important quote, I'll go ahead and underline it and then go ahead and make reference to that quote in my reading book, where I go ahead and notate the specific page number, and then I write in quotes the actual quote from the book itself. So that way, if I don't have access to the book, I can still go through my commonplace book and have access to that information and sort of think through these ideas. What I consistently try to do is make sure to write the specific page number of whatever quote, of whatever idea, whatever thought I have while reading the book. Another strategy I like to do, apart from writing out quotes or specific ideas, I like to also go ahead and at the end of each chapter or the end of each reading session, aggregate and accumulate what did I actually read. So a fun challenge I have for myself is after every single reading session, I like to force myself to have two to three bullet point ideas of what I've actually read. And the reason I say force myself is because a lot of the time I will find five to ten ideas within just one chapter or five to ten new pieces of information that I really enjoy but I really need to force myself to condense it down to the main points, the main ideas. And so the, what I do is I'll go ahead at the end of that specific reading session and write out the main ideas, the main points. So then next time when I go through my commonplace book, I can go through and see, okay, in chapter six of Sapiens, I had these two to three main points that I learned from the book, and that's what that chapter was most focused on. Now, this is a fairly new commonplace reading notebook, but in some of my other notebooks, what I also do is I like to draw. I'm not a great artist by any means, nor am I a good artist, but I'll go ahead and just doodle stick figures or whatever I can to go ahead and really visualize the information that I'm reading. I know, for example, with Dr. Jordan B. Peterson, in his books, he talks a lot about being able to slay your dragons. And so I remember creating this little stick figure with a shield and a long sword and then a dragon right next to it. And it's all about being able to slay your dragons. Trust me, the image did not look great, nor did it really look comprehensible at all, probably to any other person, but it made sense to me. And it actually forced that information to be a little more solid and more part of my DNA because I took the time to sort of imagine having to slay a dragon. Of course, you wanna go ahead and find your own ebb and flow when using your commonplace reading notebook. A strategy that I found helps if you don't wanna go ahead and break that flow when you're already really focused into the book is as you're reading your book, go ahead and make some sort of mark or notation so that you know by the end of your reading session, you can go back to that page and then write it out in your notebook. That way you can still sort of acknowledge that new information that you've come across or that impactful quote. But you can continue with your reading flow without having to disturb it. That way you don't have to take another five, 10 minutes of trying to get back into the swing of things. Another tip I would recommend is try not to 
over mark your book so usually the tendency is to go ahead and quote or underline every other sentence in the book because it's all new information what i found is try and wait till the end of the page before you go ahead and mark it because that way you give yourself that entire time to say okay what was the main idea what was the main point perhaps that idea continues to keep going and flowing throughout the next few pages and then you finally get to the point but there is no right or wrong when it comes to developing your own commonplace reading notebook you want to go ahead and find your own system your own methods that work for you while having the commonplace notebook it really helps me be more engaged when it comes to reading whether it's physical books or even audiobooks i'll go ahead and pause the audiobook and then just write out my thoughts or ideas on a specific quote or on a specific idea that's being discussed in the book. And a third tip I want to share is being able to digitize your notes. What I found to be extremely helpful is when I'm done reading the current book I'm working on, I will go ahead and take an hour to a few hours to go ahead and just type out everything in my notebook that I've aggregated from reading the book and then just have it digitized somewhere, whether it's Notion or your Apple Notes or whatever note system you like to use, but digitize it. That way you have a place where you can go ahead and find and search through all the information you've aggregated because it's much faster to be able to go ahead and search throughout your documents digitally than having to like just go through and find, okay, where did I talk about this? what chapters spoke about that it is a bit more work when you've gone through the book but i definitely think it helps with aggregating all the information you've learned because one it forces you to sort of review your notes and take a moment to just breathe and review your notes that you've read review the new information and quotes that you've consumed from the book you just read but most importantly you're also able to go ahead and search your documents and find key similarities or key ideas in one book across another across another across all the books you've read across all the information you've come across you can start finding these similar ideas and you can start making these new connections so the commonplace reading notebook is my favorite tool to use to really aggregate and collect all the information i read through books and i find that it makes reading a bit more fun because instead of just going through and and consuming the information i can start condensing this information into more actionable items or thoughts and ideas that i can start utilizing in my own thinking and start incorporating into my own life if you've utilized a commonplace reading notebook please feel free to share down below your own strategies your own methods and techniques would love to hear from you remember today's a great day to have a great day so have a great day and thanks for watching